Being part of the Advisor Inclusion Council has benefited me and my business in so many ways, ways that I couldn't even imagine when I first joined the council. Through this council, there's been an avenue to speak to people directly about how to impact the future of the firm. What? Really? It's incredible. Having a community where we can go and, and share ideas and, and, and engage with each other uh, is very beneficial. It's given me the opportunity to meet so many wonderful people from different backgrounds who service a variety of diverse clients. And what I found is that while we come from different paths into this career and we have different experiences, we often as business owners have the same or very similar challenges. And it's been wonderful for me to learn how other, these other advisors have dealt with these challenges and we're able to really help each other uh, and provide resources and guidance. Being part of the Advisor Inclusion Council has dramatically changed my business. I think that the first thing that I would say is that being part of this organization, this group, this cohort is a real lifeline and access to resources. So I cannot believe how many people at the top of the food chain I've gotten to meet. <laughs> Coming from a wirehouse world, it is a very exclusive place to have access to top management or, or even department heads. It just isn't something that naturally happens at the advisor level. Building relationships with LPL's executive team, they've been great. Uh, and, and that also has helped uh, me to understand the organization and, and what the organization's uh, goals are when it comes to how they want to help advisors. And that's been fantastic. Communities are important for underrepresented advisors because they need to feel like they are part of something bigger than themselves. If they feel that they are excluded or that they can't be their true self, um, then they're in the shadows. And we need to bring them out of the shadows and show them that there are people that are like them and people that are allies and that want to see them be successful and see them flourish. So as an underrepresented advisor at LPL myself, uh, our communities have been tremendously valuable to me. And I feel that um, it took me roughly 10 years at LPL before I managed to connect with another openly LGBTQ advisor at this firm. And part of my mission as a member of the Advisor Inclusion Council is to help make these communities more accessible to other advisors so that that next new advisor joining LPL or existing advisor who's out there somewhere uh, finds it that much easier to connect and realize that there are other folks like them here uh, and that they are not alone and that we can provide them with resources to help them grow their, their practice in whatever unique way they choose. I think communities are important for underrepresented advisors at LPL Financial because there needs to be some sense of belonging for everyone within the firm and for everyone within the business. It's almost like community almost equals family. I feel like LPL has been very authentic in, in responding to the voices of the AIC. And it's really an honor to be part of this group and to be able to deliver on ideas to leadership and then see the needle move.